Hi guys, I'm Atieno Lang. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, Karibuni Sana. And uh, thanks for my uh, subscribers. Asante Sana for your loyalty. Today I want us to talk about uh, breaking circle of bad relationships. And uh, I'm looking at it on a, on a stand where all relationships together. May it be a love relationship or a friendship relationship. Um, I believe we can find ourselves in a circle of relationship whereby um, we either feel like we're being misused, we ever feel like we are, uh, we either feel like we are um, compromising on our integrity, dignity, you know, and uh, we find ourselves also in uh, some of this relationship that you feel like it's draining you. You just feel like it's removing life from you i don't know if anyone has been into such a relationship but i have been and it is exhausting may it be like if you're a woman may it be a fellow woman or, or a male you know how to break such relationship first of all i find that um this kind of circles i think cycles yeah are brought in by uh, never resting from the other relationship or reflecting like let's say if you are in a love relationship and you find out it is not working for you maybe you find out you have been really doing lots of compromising you basically you feel like you've been lifting the relationship by one hand or maybe it was one-sided and the other party is in it just for a particular reason maybe finances maybe the other person is just there for sex maybe i don't know you just feel like it was not uh, moving somewhere or maybe you you are in a relationship whereby uh, you are only important on a, on a particular time but during other times you're not that important you're not worthy to be shown to maybe maybe uh your your friends or your spouses relations friends family you know and it's exhausting for you and you feel like okay i've invested time in this and so far, I feel like it's not um, working. Uh, what happened, first of all, when you break up, sorry, um, you know, I'm outside and <laughs> kids are playing. Uh, when uh, you're broken up from a relationship, the first thing you need to do is to give yourself time to reflect, to understand, okay, why did this break? Why was this not working out for me? was it me did i enable this to take place um did i have low self-esteem that I allowed this to happen on my side am i the one who is on the wrong side how did i contribute to this you know you first have to be true to yourself and ask yourself that question and give yourself time for an honest answer because i always say the worst thing someone can do is to lie to themselves lie to anybody else if you want to but never lie to yourself because when you start believing your life then things will be a little bit hard on your side now um once you have re reflect on that point and then the second give yourself yourself sorry give yourself time <laughs> give yourself time to heal because any sort of a breakup you need to heal from it you need to heal and heal and heal. And if you are to go back to that particular relationship, then you need to understand why are you going back to that particular relationship. If you are to mend ways with that particular person, you are to understand, okay, this is what is happening. I want to be in a good place with this person, but what I don't want is to allow them back into my life. And it is allowed. It is very much allowed. Many people don't understand that you can forgive someone but not allow them in your space. When you find when you, you, you are with someone, they bring the worst out of you, then you need to keep them away from you. Does not mean that you have any ill feeling with them. No, 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 no. Does not mean that, oh, I'm so sorry. Lauren! Lauren! Uyu jibu anakula ndege ama kitu kama hii, sijui? Oh my god we have these puppies and normally they get the chalk if they eat like hard stuff and this one is just eating like dead bad 
bad i don't know it has been raining a lot i'm so sorry for that okay so sometimes you find yourself um um in a situation whereby you need to understand why this breakup was there and to what limit you want to allow these people back into your space okay if it is a, a relationship of a fellow like a sex person whereby you just had a relationship and you liked each other and you loved each other you know maybe in a sisterly way or a brotherly way and you feel like you have been betrayed then you have to know to what extent you want to allow this person back into your life if at all to even allow them back into your life and uh for me i think when it comes to relationship matters of the heart now matters of the heart whereby uh, this was your husband your boyfriend for years i feel like um if there are no children involved in it by all means try to keep away from each other because i feel like uh, the leopard never changes their stripes and w whatever reason was hurting you is still there unless the person can really address it and 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 uh, use action you know to move from that particular thing it will be there so you know just let it go be in a good place whereby when you meet you can have a progressive uh, conversation you know without any hard feelings but uh give yourself the space and give a room for the next person my mom always has this uh beautiful saying forward e forward ever backward never so move forward <laughs> and I, I know like uh, sometimes you find yourself in a place where you you feel like um i don't know guilt there's usually this guilt of uh, the back things that have been done the contribution that have been made towards the journey and i know be grateful don't regret it you know at that particular good time it was good the contribution that came from both parties were great you guys worked at a particular time in a great way but maybe you grew apart maybe you are not seeing eye to eye i don't know and it was not working out and you have to accept like okay where we have reached this is not working out and on my next relationship these are the things i don't want put your list down and say okay i don't want to compromise my dignity for anyone one i don't want to be invaluable to anyone if those are the reason why you're leaving that particular relationship so that you understand and uh and this you will know from the beginning of any particular relationship when you start talking you listen to the uh, your partner or your date carefully you hear these things kindly don't misinterpret them ask for them listen to them clearly before you go far into the relationship where it will be hard for you to come out because you have invested your feelings and time and blah 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 blah, blah. you know then just be ready to say you know what uh this is not for me respectfully this is not for me and uh i'm not going to invest my time in it it has nothing to do with you i respect you but it's not working it's not working i don't feel valued i don't feel um i don't feel appreciated i don't feel like we're moving forward i feel like the stagnancy is too long especially for those people who get engaged for over six years two years like what is happening i don't get it like is it even gonna happen uh, you know so um when you give yourself time after one breakup just to reflect to think to put yourself together you also break the cycle of that kind of relationship you break this cycle of uh, you know the madness that you you've been dating in the past you know sometimes you find yourself dating people and you come up like you come out like you're desperate or something break it break it completely love yourself more love yourself love yourself i think that is the key word when you love yourself you will not put yourself in a situation where you're compromising your dignity you're compromising your happiness you're compromising you know your beliefs and everything love yourself know who you are know what you want 
and kindly don't care what the other person thinks. No, don't care. Like if it's not um, bringing any value, don't care about it, honestly. Because um, some people like to manipulate you, to believe that what they're saying is the best. Go with your heart, go with your head. Listen, listen. Always have a room for listening. There's always a room for improving. There's always a room for everything. But that does not mean you're putting a room to, um, to um, you know, go back into trashy business. Like for me, I have some things I don't stand. Like if someone says hi to you and what have you and you've met, you just exchange numbers, then go to your WhatsApp and start statements like, send me your picture. I'm done. Block. Pop, pop, pop. Like there are things you just don't stand. What I, what is wrong with you? Why are you asking me for my pictures? You know? So there are some languages you just don't have to stand it. Where is these pictures coming from? You know, if you guys were talking on a particular subject and you've reached to a point there, that makes sense. But someone you don't know is a stranger and is like, send your pictures and blah, blah, blah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You know? There are things you just put. And like for me, I don't like people who put me in a situation where they want me to compromise on my dignity. I feel like there's something very wrong. And also when you're in a relationship and they want to take you so fast, you know, and come up with all these slogans that uh, are beneficial to only themselves. Um, think, think about it very clearly. So uh, give yourself time, love yourself, love yourself, be at peace with yourself. Uh, know what you want as a person know what you want in a relationship know what kind of relationship you want also if it's a, a relationship between uh, two spouses like know what you want do you want a relationship that uh, leads to marriage do you want a relationship that is just for companionship do you want a relationship like what kind do you want it is very important that you know these things and uh, you know call it what they are you know call it what they are don't uh, pretend to you know i always tell people like uh, we have this uh, name being given to women like gold digger or whatever i tell women if digging the gold is where you want to go by all means don't be scared of it do it if you have decided you want to be a prostitute kindly use condom and take care of yourself and do whatever you're doing i'm not endorsing for these things i'm just saying be stay true to yourself stay true to yourself do not compromise on what you believe in again i'm atiena olang and um if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so you don't have to but it would be lovely to have you as part of uh, our family yeah until uh the next time thank you for being with me